Hey guys, well, today I'm going to show you how I stake up tall plants or trees. Now I've got my Satsuma Mandarin Orange here that needs to be staked. Um, now I've seen a lot of people do, what I've seen a lot of people do, and in nurseries do this too, is that they will take and put the stake right next to the tree and then tape the two together like this. Now the, the problem with that is I know that nurseries do it because it's a lot easier for them and they assume that you're going to repot this thing. So you're going to be pulling the stake out. The problem is, as the tree grows, and this stake is really close to the tree, those roots are going to wrap around that stake. So a lot of times when you pull that stake out, if you can get it out and the roots haven't wrapped around it too tightly, you're going to possibly damage the root system. So it's always best when you get a plant, or you have one that hasn't, hasn't been staked yet, is to get the stake farther out away from the tree. That way it's nowhere near the root system, it's not going to damage it. Okay, so what I do is, now I've got this, this half-inch dowel that I'm using. Now, normally you wouldn't go to the store and buy a bunch of dowels because they're very expensive. You would probably grab something like redwood stakes or, you know, square ones or something like that. But I happen to have this dowel. Let me show you how I stake my trees, okay? So I drive my stake in quite a ways away. Now, this is going to go into a bigger pot eventually, so I'm going to want to be able to take this stake and move it out farther, okay? So that's why I... I want to make sure that it's far away from the root system. What I do is I take myself a half inch T-joint, a PVC T-joint, and what I've done is I've ripped this T-joint in half right here. Okay. Now, you want to be careful doing that. It's best to probably use a hacksaw or something. Now, I'm, I'm an idiot and I use my chop saw, but what I did was I took a long piece of a long piece of PVC pipe and put it on there and was very careful, but I'm not advocating you doing that because <laughs> it's just not smart. That's not what a chop saw is for, but that's what I do. It's quick and painless, but um, use a hacksaw. Don't be like me. Um, but what you do is you, you take and you rip one like that, okay? Now this one is going to go up against the tree like this. Now the beauty of this is that if your, your T-joint is bigger than the tree, it's going to allow a little bit of room for movement. And as this tree grows, it will not be constricted by the tape because a lot of times when they stake them right next to it, They'll tape them up really tight and it kind of constricts the tree. Now, of course, that's temporary. You know, uh, nurseries do that because they assume that you're going to replant them. So it's not that big of a deal. And then what I do is if I have a round stake, I will take a regular T-joint, slip it onto the round stake like this, and then I will take a piece of, just a regular piece of PVC pipe and just cut it to size and put it into the T-joint like that and then stake my plant like that. Now, what I will do is I will take this, and I will wrap this around here and tie this tape on here wherever I think is best for, for the tree. Now as this thing grows, of course, it's going to have a little bit of room, but what you're going to probably want to do is move up to a three-quarter inch, and then possibly, if it's a much bigger tree, move up to a one inch. And if you want to keep the stake one size, you can always get a reducer, but it's always good, if the, it, it's always good to have a stake that's at least as big as the trunk of the tree. So as this grows, I'm not going to use a half inch dowel. This is going to grow and as it gets bigger, I'm going to move up to a bigger T-joint. Um, now what you're going to want to do also is if you if you are using this method here and you slide this down, <clears throat> well whether you use another T-joint like that or cut another, rip another half inch joint like this, what I've done here is that I've drilled a small hole in the bottom of this cutaway and then you can go like this and then you could screw a little like a sheetrock screw just to hold this keep it from sliding up and down and so you would drill your hole in your drill your hole in and then put a screw in right here and then tape these together like this and then that will keep this from trying to slide down which usually it's friction fit but if you're kind of nervous about it that's the best way to do it so okay now if you wanted to use the square ones like this which is perfectly fine you can cut these a little more so that there's not so much of an arc right here. Cut it more flat, and then when you drill your hole, this will go a little bit flatter up against this square piece of redwood or whatever you're using like that. And it'll drill right in, and this will hold it. So, Okay, so now let me show you how I do this here. It's really simple. What I do is I take my T-joint. Now, on this T-joint, I've got a little hole on the side because I am going to drill it into the, into the stake. And then what you do is you take a piece of PVC pipe, Put it in and then you take your tree and make sure that your tree is straight up and down like that and cut your PVC pipe to match that. Now what you want to do is I've seen a lot of people will use 
uh, like a hacksaw. But the easiest thing to do with PVC is to get yourself a PVC pipe cutter. And you can pick this up for a few bucks at Harbor Freight Tools. They're not that expensive. And that way you're not, it's hard to get it straight with a hacksaw and everything. Just here, you just clamp it on here and you just close it like that. It just cuts right through the PVC and you're, and you're done. Okay. So then you measure your pipe and then you put your other one on like this, just like that. And then take your, take your screw, put it in and then drill this right in. I always try to get it up as high as I can to secure it. There, just like that. <clears throat> now that's not going to go anywhere like that. Now what you can do, of course, is you probably would want to, you probably want to tie this here. Um, with me, I don't, I don't knock my trees around a lot, so I'm really not too concerned about it. It's probably a smart idea. Um, if you use a bigger one, it will flop around, you know, if you're going to use like a three-quarter inch pipe, it'll kind of flop around a little bit more. So it's probably a good idea to go ahead and tape this up just to keep, just to keep the, the tree from, if it happened to get knocked by something, especially if it's like out in the wind. And none of these trees that I have staked up are out in the wind, so I'm not concerned about it. So this is either in my greenhouse or it's inside the house. And the only knocking around it might get is if I want to trim it or something. So it's a good idea to tape it up. So anyways, that's how I stake up tall plants and trees and just for like about a buck, probably not even a buck. These were like the T-joints were like 30, 40 cents. And these pipes come, they're only a couple bucks for a 10-foot pipe. So, I mean, you're looking at about a dollar for to make a tool that will hold up your plants. So, all right, well, there you go, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll catch you all later.